Hello guys, uh, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss the knowledge areas and the project management processes. Let's first talk about the knowledge area. In PIMPOC, we have 10 knowledge areas. Basically, it represents a specialized activity pertaining to project. If we talk about project scope management, this knowledge area represents all the processes which are deal with defining and managing the scope. So the knowledge area represents specialized area. The project integration management represents how are you going to integrate the output of rest of the knowledge areas. Currently as per the PIMBOK we have 10 knowledge areas. There are 5 process groups initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and controlling and clo closing. There are 47 processes uh, basically they uh, belongs to a particular process group. For example, if I have a process defined project charter, it is a process under initiation process group. In the initial stage of a project, this process executed. Since it belongs to project integration, so the knowledge area belongs to this in project integration management. Uh, this is indeed project integration management. All uh, the 47 processes have two dimension. One dimension belongs to the process group and the second dimension belongs to the knowledge areas. Let me give you an example of project scope management knowledge area. Basically it has all the functions which fall under scope uh, uh, in project scope management. Each process will be having association with process group. For example pro plan scope management this is a process which help us in planning scope management activities so this is a part of a scope management knowledge area but since it's a it's a planning process so it falls under planning process group so we have to look each knowledge area very critically and carefully so that's all from my side hope you like this video please share it with your friends and colleagues then thanks a lot for your time